The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate a novel strategy for site-directed mutagenesis in Anopheles mosquito cells. This is accomplished by first preparing healthy cultured cells for transfection. The cells are then transfected with the appropriate control and test DNAs through the addition of transfection reagents. The next step of the procedure is to monitor the control cells for fluorescence and to reduce the density of the experimental cells. Finally, the gene conversion frequencies can be determined in the experimental cells using flow cytometry at 5 to 7 days post-transfection. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show site-directed mutagenesis of an episomal gene target through locked nucleic acid oligonucleotide-induced DNA repair. Hi, I'm Dr. Nazi Pakpour from the laboratory of Dr. Shirley Luckhart in the Department of Medical Microbiology and Immunology at the University of California, Davis. Today we'll show you a novel procedure for the site-directed mutagenesis of Anopheles mosquito cells. We use this procedure to study the function of mosquito innate immune response genes through site-directed mutagenesis. So let's get started. Prior to starting the protocol, obtain mosquito cells that are healthy and approximately 80% confluent if adherent. Overgrown or unhealthy cells will result in low transfection efficiency and will give inconsistent results. This protocol is demonstrated with Anopheles gambiae SUA5B cells. However, Anopheles stephensi MSQ43 cells can also be used. Begin the transfection setup by warming S2 media in a 28 degree Celsius water bath for 30 minutes. Thaw all transfection reagent materials, plasmids, and oligonucleotides on ice. Using the